Okay, good morning everyone. I'm going to make a new soap video. Um, I basically had a bit of withdrawal. I'm just in the middle of packing um, Yule release orders because that's all gone live. So if you have another look, link is below. Um, I made so much this year that luckily I didn't get sell out. So, so this week would have been spent uh, packing orders and doing restocks. I haven't had to do it. So I'm just going to make a couple of batches of soap. So, the first one I'm going to do, well I've done one already, and um, well, it's called Honey Vanilla Love Dust. I was doing a video for it, but um, it took so long to set up that literally the video would have been like watching paint dry. It was like, you know, you were watching soap set up, it was ridiculous. So, I thought I'll just make another one before I get on with my real job <laughs> of packing orders today. Okay, so this one... Now we're sending out some wax tarts with our autumn stock and this one is called Hot Orange Danish. And these are US fragrance oils that we are now allowed to use in the UK. I'm part of a soap making group on Facebook and um, Celine from IamHandmade.com had told me, like I'd asked the question because she was asking about um, people's favourite fragrances from this particular company and everybody left this list and I thought hang on we weren't allowed to use those before I wonder if we can now so I asked the question and they've now started to list all the allergen content of their fragrances so we in the UK can now use them now I had a few of them anyway that I was using for wax tarts so now I can get all the information I need I'm making soap with them so I'm over the moon because there's so many and the prices are cheaper than here in the UK which is ridiculous that's even with shipping I just worked out an order just for one bottle, I just thought, let's do a comparison. And it worked out at £16 cheaper. <laughs> this was a 16-ounce bottle. And our equivalent is the 500ml. I mean, there's a 40ml difference. So you get a little bit more from the UK. Because we weigh in grams and, you know, kilos. And in the States, they still work on ounces and pounds. Anyway, even with 40 grams, it's not much difference between the two so I put them both in my cart with shipping from the States and with shipping in the UK the UK fragrance oil worked out 41 pounds with shipping 41 pounds and the US fragrance worked out 24 pounds that's a big difference in price so if um, the UK want to continue to compete or start to compete with the US they're gonna have to drop their prices for sure because the thing is, this particular company have got so much more to offer as well, fragrance-wise, that, yeah, it's my opinion that the UK need to up their game, really, you know? Anyway, let's stick blend. Sorry about the noise, it's horrible. funnel swirl today. See how that goes. So this fragrance goes a dark brown, I believe. It's got a 10% vanilla content, which is quite a lot. So I'm going to pour some off. I'm just going to get a little smaller jar. two colour thing. So one will be dark brown, one will be like an orange. I'm going to use some um, turmeric in this one. So let me just colour this one up. Hopefully to give a nice sort of orangey colour. There we go. Good 
thing about spices and stuff is they don't seem to accelerate the trace as much <laughs> as when you use like micas and well, I don't really use micas, well I don't, or well, oxides I do. <laughs> they can help get the soap to trace as well as like with clay and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, a bit of turmeric in there. So let's get the mould ready. So if you can still see properly. I think you can. There you go, put you like that and you can see proper. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in half fragrance that one, half fragrance that one. Don't need too much, it's a strong strong one this one. They say on the uh, site where I got this from. You can use up to 5%, but I never do, and our guidelines in the UK are 3%, so I'd never go over that. So this is just 3%, I think. So I can already see that's going darker. Yeah, definitely. So that's a good sign. I want it like that. I want brown and orange together. But orange hopefully won't go a deep dark brown as well. I hope there's sort of some contrast. But we'll see. Even if it's a deep dark brownish orange, that will be okay. <laughs> Might have no blooming joy. Okay, so I'm going to just pour this in there. Then this in there. I just alternately pour random pores into the middle. Years ago I used to do this with a funnel, but this is what they call the faux funnel, I think. With the turmeric, you get like a rustic sort of speckle in there from the herb. It's nice. Well, from the spice, it's not herb, it's a spice. Okay, then. I need to get this thickened. around now on the top just to use up this batter so inside we should have sort of like lines going all the way through the soap but because this is just a small batch it won't be as noticeable if it as it would be in a large mold so okay leave a bit of that I just want this to thicken up a lot more if I get another jug in it. Just got enough in there. I just want to thicken this up with a stick blend if I can. Just have to excuse me and my madness, but I want the rest of this batter on top of that soap, but I want it thick. Otherwise, it won't, it'll just go all over the sides. And it's a slow mover, this oil, so the fragrance. So um, you've got a time to play. <laughs> Sure, again. 
sort of rich and dark but this portion I'm putting on should go really dark brown so excuse the radio in the background Drizzled over the top. It smells really, really nice. It's a typical bakery scent, but with a really nice, rich, orangey, hot sort of cake smell. It's really good. Really good. It'd be nice for this time of year, anyway, for Yule. Some nice little extras. So I'll continue doing these throughout the week, I think, and then in a few weeks we can have a little mini test batch release which I've not done one for a while the last one I think was back in the autumn hands playing up again okay. okay let me just bring you down I got a little tripod off of eBay like I said I was going to damn I should have brought you down earlier <laughs> oh well okay I'm gonna just um, do a little swirlage in the top, nothing too drastic. Just get something going on there. And then I'm going to use some dried orange peel on the top of it. Just get those blobs off because I know you'll be sitting there saying, Get the blobs off! off of there. There we go. Okay, better for you? A little bit of orange peel. Neil, neil orange peel. Just over the top. Like a dead. Should show up quite nicely if this discolours as I think it might, so plenty of sprinkle. There you go. So that is hot orange Danish, and I'll be back for some more. Okay, ta ta!